Me and the llamas, we just bought the craziest Valentine's candy that we've ever seen before in our whole lives. We literally bought the entire aisle of Valentine's candy. Some of these candies we've never even seen before, and I'm really excited because they're like brand new additions. So today, we're gonna be trying all 50 of these Valentine's candy and letting you know, is it good or is it bad? Or is it in the middle? I hope you guys are ready because we're about to get the ultimate sugar rush. Guys, I'm really excited about today's video because I don't know if you know this, but I am obsessed with candy. Like, you think Fluff Bean is obsessed with candy? Like, do you know where she got it from? That's right, she got it from me, the llama mama. Like, if you looked at my pantry right now, you would be like, did you just stage this? Did you just fill this up with candy just to say this? No. Me and the llama is like, we love candy so much. Like, that's what we eat. Like, this is what a pantry looks like. But we we're so excited because right now, as I was saying earlier, this candy that we're about to try today is stuff that we've never seen before. And me and the llama is like, we want to try it really bad. So, so let's go right now. I'm just going to reach and whichever one I grab, I grab and we're going to try it. Are you ready, llama bean? Lava bean is so ready. Are y'all ready to fly? Let's do this thing, yeah. Let's get a sugar rush. I have a feeling this first one's gonna be really good. And whatever I grab, I grab llamas, ready? Here we have it guys, the first one. We got some strawberry cream Kit Kats. Fluffy, did you know that they even made different flavored Kit Kats? Because I had no idea, Fluff. Oh, Fluff is so excited. Guys, did you know that they made different flavors Kit Kats? Like, I knew that they had a white one, but a pink one? Like, Llama Bean, not only is this pink, it's Llama Pink, I'm pretty sure. <gasps> oh, so sweet. Oh, this was raspberry cream. I thought it said strawberry. Just smelling it, it just smells like, when I just bust it open the back, it's just a huge load of, like, pink. Like, if pink had a smell, this is what pink would smell like. Okay, let's see. Oh, that is so pretty. Look how pink that is. Lama Bean, why don't you sniff it? Oh, Lama Bean has the most sensitive nose. Oh, Lama, Lama already went in for it. What did the Lama? Super pinky tasting. That's crazy, Lama. Oh, Fluff's getting into it. How is it, Fluff? She said I need to try it right now, okay. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Guys, I usually don't like fruit flavored things. Like when it comes to like chocolate and fruit, I just don't like it. But this, this is actually really good. I don't want to eat the whole bag right now. 10 out of 10. Llamas, what do you think? They said if we didn't have a bunch of candy right here, they would eat the whole bag too. All right, next up. Fluffin, you think this is gonna be a good one? Ooh, guys, I saw this in the store and I got really excited because I didn't I had no idea that you could actually do this with cotton candy Look at it. So it's a warhead shake on candy. I don't know about you But like I'm not really like a huge fan of sour things It's like I don't really like sour or spicy like if I'm choosing something It's gonna be the regular skittle or the sour skittle, but flapping on the other hand She loves sour things. So I think flapping you're really gonna love this all right, so let's open this. It says, shake it to make it. I wonder if you have to like pour the whole thing in there. Like it looks like they have packets on the top here and you just shake whatever it is. Oh, it's probably like the sour, like sour dust, warhead dust. Oh. <laughs> okay, so this cotton candy came with three packets. These are what the packets look like. And it says sour flavoring. You know what this reminds me of? It almost reminds me of like butter when you put butter on over your popcorn. It's like, I just add my seasoning. Okay, I'm a little scared because it says it's sour. Flappy, will you try it first? Is that flap? It's not even sour. Let me see. Oh, mmm. Mmm, mm, really good cotton candy. It's just blue raspberry. Lava. Okay. We're gonna try it guys because tonight is all about getting the ultimate sugar rush. So we're gonna sprinkle some of this sour on the cotton candy. I have never heard of this. Have you guys ever heard of putting toppings on cotton candy? Leave a comment down below because I have never heard that. All right, let's add it. Oh, this just looks so sour. I am really scared. Okay, now let's shake it up. Lama, will you shake it? Thanks, Lam. Mr. Lama? 
Do they make lettuce flavored cotton candy? I don't know, Llama. I know they make pickle cotton candy, but that would be really cool. The lettuce flavor. Actually, like, when I think of cotton candy, like, I think of something super sweet. And lettuce is like the opposite of that, Nam. Llama loves lettuce. Okay, here we go. The sour cotton candy. Mmm. Oh! Wow! Whew, that is extremely sour. Whew, dang it! Oh my gosh, Lama Bean, you have to try this. Oh, Lama, Lama passed out. Okay, Lama, it's okay. She said it's so sour that it just made her pass out. Fluffy, do you want to try it? Oh, yeah. Don't eat the whole thing. We have a lot more candy to go. Guys, honestly, I like this better without the sour stuff. I rate this one an 8 out of 10. Without the sour stuff, with the sour stuff, I'll put a 4 out of 10. All right, next. Ooh, guys, I'm really, really excited about this one. This one is called the Limited Edition All Cherry Dots. When I go in for candy, guys, I always choose the red or the blue one. Like, that's my flavor. If I'm going in for a flavor, it's always those because, like, they taste the best, in my opinion. Or pink. Mama always goes for the green one because she thinks it's going to be lettuce. Fluffy, she doesn't even think about, like, what's in front of her face. Like, if it smells good and it's food, she's eating it. Right, Fluff? Oh, flop. Okay, so this one has all cherries. What's that, Flap? Uh huh. No, Flappy. Flappy just asked me. She's like, wait. So since these are cherries, like it's cherry flavored, would that count as eating fruits? Oh, Flappy. I don't think so. Actually, you know what? In this household, yes, Flap. This would be in our fruit bowl. Okay, let's see what these look like. Ooh. Oh, that looks so good. Mmm, they smell very cherry, like super cherry. Like, think of a cherry smell and then times it by a million. Like, this whole house just smells like I have a cherry candle lit up inside of it. All right, Lamas, let's try it. Mmm. 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 Oh, I don't know if you've ever had this, but you know, like the gummies, like the Scooby Snacks or like the Welch's gummy, like, it tastes almost like that. It's like all red flavor. Maybe my favorite. This is. A million out of ten. Super good. My favorite candy so far. Mamas, what do you think? They're obsessed with it. Love it. Good job, Dots. What is going to be next, Mamas? Ooh, I am obsessed with Jolly Ranchers, guys. Especially when I was a kid. I would love getting Jolly Ranchers. And I would get the big... It, it felt like like almost like a 10-pound thing of Jolly Ranchers. And I would just sort out the blue ones because blue was like my favorite flavor of Jolly Rancher. And I would just be left like the last flavor that would be in the bag was the green ones because I didn't really care for it. But these right here, these are Jolly Ranchers heart. It's cherry, strawberry, and watermelon. So it seems like literally all the good flavors. This is really cool because I've never seen Jolly Ranchers that are hard. Like I said, guys, like it's Valentine's theme and they just go super crazy. It says, what a hopeless romantic. That is so sweet. Mmm. This smells like I'm in a strawberry patch. Llama, smell it. Oh, llama's in like a llama land. Fluffy, you smell it. Fluffy says all she wants to do right now is dance. Oh, Fluffy, oh, yeah. oh, Fluffy. Oh, Fluffy! Fluffy's getting that ultimate sugar rush. <laughs> oh, Fluff! Go, Fluff! All right, let's try these hearts. They look extremely good, guys. Look how cute. You have your hearts ready on three llamas. One, two, three. Oh. Oh, that's sour. Oh. Oh. Wow. If you like sour candy, you would love Love this. Mmm. Woo. That is really, really tangy. Really good, guys. Like, I was actually expecting, like, a little bit more sweet, but then I realized it was, like, oh, Jolly Rancher. Like, it has, like, a little, like, not necessarily sour, but just extremely flavorful. So, I rate this one, like, a 7.2 out of 10. Lamas, what do you think? Is that Fluff? You're ready for some chocolate? Okay, Fluffing, I will let you go down there and pick out the next one, okay? I just spilled all of the candies, but that's okay because we are on the journey of the most ultimate sugar rushes. Oh, Fluffy, did you find one down there? Let's walk them to choose. Ooh, check out this one, guys. Reese's. I have really been craving Reese's, so Fluffy, that was a great choice. Okay, so this one says 
We go together like peanut butter and chocolate. I think that's a better duo than peanut butter and jelly. Like peanut butter and chocolate, mmm. I love Reese's. Okay, so this one looks like, oh, it's such a pretty rose. If I had to choose between an actual rose and this chocolate rose, just by looking at it and smelling it, mmm, then I would literally choose this only because it just smells super tasty. Like you can eat this. Although a regular rose, it can last a really long time. Like this only lasts like 10 seconds in my hand. If it was fluffy, this lasts like 0.5 seconds. It would be gone. Okay, look how insane this looks. I have never seen a Reese's like this. Like I have seen like the Reese's Easter eggs. Like those are super popular. But like this, never seen it. This is super cool. So Gavis, who wants to be the first one to try it? Oh, oh, flap. Okay, no, I mean, I want you to be extremely careful trying this because you already have a little bit of chocolate on your bowl from like a long time ago that we do have to get clean soon, Lava Bean. But just be careful. Be a clean bean because Mama is a clean bean. How is it, Mom? She says it's really good. Okay, I'm gonna give it a go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. I love Reese's. And this? This right here, guys, the chocolate rose, it is the way to go. Like, when you go to the candy aisle and you have to pick between a chocolate bar candy, which one are you picking? Are you choosing a Reese's? Because that's like my second choice. First choice, Twix. 9.5 out of 10, what would make it better? It was a bigger rose, it would make it better. Whew, guys, we are really having a sugar rush right now. Like, I just feel so like, I just wanna go and run a bunch. Actually, no, I don't really wanna run, but Fluffy, I know you wanna dance a lot. Oh, Fluff loves to dance. needs to go. It'll probably feel like we ate like a billion candies after we're done with this and we'll probably be passed out all night but that's okay because it's the weekend. Let's go. Lava Bean, why don't you go and you choose one since Fluff chose one last time, okay? Lava Bean, can you choose one that's like a gummy because like I'm really craving a gummy right now. Oh, this sounds like a good one, guys. What is it, Lamb? Why don't you show them? Veggies? <laughs> Lama... How did I even get in the candy pile? Lama Bean, you are so so crazy! Llama! Oh, llama is such a healthy little llama. You know what, llama bean? That's a great point. We always want to eat vegetables to even out all the candy. So, we're probably going to need to eat like 52 pounds of vegetables after this whole candy rush because we're eating a lot of candy. Llama, that's great. So, why don't you go down there and pick another candy llama? She's a crazy little llama. What is this, llama bean? Oh. My. Gosh, I have never seen this before. Flappy, get excited, because just check this out. Oh, Flappy, pass out. Guys, look at this. When I saw this inside the aisle, I was like, I just wanna get all of them. It's a Lunchable pizza that's gummies. Can you imagine that? Like a Lunchable that's gummies, that's candy? Like, I would take this to school. I'd probably sneak this, be like, Mom, can you buy me this Lunchable? And she's like, ah, no, sweetie. And I'd be like, please, Mom. And she's like, okay, since it's a Lunchable and it's for school, and then it's a bunch of candy. How to get Mom to buy you candy? <sighs> Just show her these. This is so cool. I can't wait to try this. I wonder if it has like a Lunchable flavor. That'd be crazy. Or is it just like a regular cherry flavor? I don't know, Lamas, I'm really, really hyped for this one. Oh, I really feel my sugar. I just, <gasps> Okay, that's really cool. Look, guys, it comes with jelly. Like, that's a sauce. That's a pizza sauce. And it looks super saucy. It comes with two pizzas. So llama, that's perfect because there's two little llamas. Oh, Fluffy's so excited because she said she loves ordering Papa John's. Oh, Fluff, Fluff, you need to calm down. Oh, Fluffy, way too much sugar. Fluffy, easy Fluff. I do not want to have to call those right now in the ambulance. Oh yeah. What's that Fluffy? Is this like a Papa John's pizza? No Fluff. Oh, but you do know Fluff. During like the Valentine's season, oh my gosh, did you guys know this? That like pizza companies, like I know like Pizza Hut does it for sure, but they come out with a heart shaped pizza and it's like so much fun. <gasps> Llamas, we should totally order that soon before Valentine's ends. Like we have to order the pizza. And another good thing is the Chick-fil-A heart shaped tray. There's just so many cool Valentine themed things. What is your favorite Valentine thing? Have you ever had the heart shaped pizza? I just feel like when it's heart shaped, it just tastes so much better. Like, I genuinely look forward to it all year because of the cool shape. Like, they should make other cool shaped pizzas. <gasps> what about a llama pizza? That's genius. 
All right, so we are about to make the most tastiest pizza ever. This would be the dough. Look at that. That is some flimsy pizza. What's that gonna be? Do we cook it in the oven? I don't think so. Like, I think this pizza cures pretty fast. Actually, it cures definitely, like, instantly. Oh, we gotta put on the sauce first. Ooh, I wonder what flavor the sauce is. Because, like, it's definitely not a tomato flavor. So I wonder what flavor it is. I bet you it's, like, a sour flavor. I'm gonna tell you guys. Me and the llamas, we are the experts at this. Have you guys ever tried Miniverse? Because you don't have to make it. Do we have to go put this in the sun afterwards? Here is the sauce. Oh, this is about to be so messy. When I order a pizza, though, guys, I always ask for light sauce. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is gonna be... Uh oh Oh! Oh! dripping right now okay how much cheese do you llamas want we have we have to quickly make this because i think the sauce is gonna dry soon <gasps> oh look these are the little pepperonis look how cute guys this is super satisfying like making your own pizza and now that it's like a gummy it's so much fun like this reminds me so much of like making a lunchable okay so i'm adding a cheese they didn't put much cheese in here flopping can you get papa john's on the phone you gotta order more cheese all right so i added all of my cheeses Let's add the pepperonis now. Okay. All right. Oh, my pepperoni's falling. Look at this beautiful pizza, guys. Delicious. All right, Fluffy, you go in for it. Oh, Fluff. Fluffy just took a huge bite. How is it, Fluff? She said they could put lighter sauce on it. Fluffy, I'm the one that made the pizza. Fluffy doesn't like a lot of sauce. You would think that Fluffy would love sauce, but that's the one thing that Fluffy, she's not a huge fan on. She's like the llama mama. All right, llama bean. Oh, llama bean just ate the pepperoni. How is it, Lam? She said she loves the pepperonis. Okay, I'm gonna try it now. Mmm, hey, Fluff! Oh, no. Guys, I think Fluff is actually investigating all the candy that's going on the floor. Fluff, you can't eat that. Fluffy! Okay, so I rate this pizza probably a 6 out of 10. If Lama Bean delivered it, it would be a 10 out of 10. I don't know if you guys caught this, but Lama Bean was actually delivering pizza for Papa John two weeks ago. Lama Bean, would you ever deliver a Lunchable pizza? <gasps> you would, Lama! It is pretty good. I would get it, but before I get this, I'll get an actual pizza because I love pizza. Llamas, we gotta order that heart-shaped one. All right, I'm gonna choose one. Here we have, ooh, the Be My Valentine red brownie. What is it? No, ice brownies. <gasps> yes! Oh, I'm so excited for this. I love Little Debbie. Little Debbie knows how to bake. Like, I have no idea who she is, but I grew up on the Little Debbie cake. So, so good. The zebra cakes, mm, the cosmic brownies. I have a huge feeling, Llama, that this is gonna be just like the cosmic brownie, except the sprinkles are a little hard, so. Let's see this. Oh, and it comes with cute little like Valentine hearts on the back of the box. That is so cool. Oh, look how cool cute this is, guys. This is technically a dessert, not a candy, but still. We're, we're still gonna eat it because it's so exotic. Look at that brownie. That looks so delicious. Was that fluffy? You could totally eat it in one bite. Oh, fluff. Well, I think the package comes with five brownies, so there's gonna be four more. But let's all try this right now. Let's all try it at the same time, actually, okay? Ready? In three, two, one. Mmm, mm hmm. Just like a cosmic brownie, guys, except, like I said, without the little crunchies on top. So I actually like it with the crunchies on top better, but this is still super good. Do you guys like the cosmic brownies? Let me know. I love them. This is a perfect Valentine's treat. Like, it's almost like the size of the heart. This is so cute. I rate this 8 out of 10. Okay, Flapping, go choose this one. Flapping, can you choose a really crazy one, like a super insane one? Sniff it out, Flap. Oh, Flapping says it's really heavy. Oh, Flap, what is this? <gasps> Ooh, yes, guys, I'm so excited for this. Look at this. This is an extremely huge, gigantic, enormous, massive gummy bear. I can't wait. Like, this thing is so heavy. Like, I'm pretty sure this weighs more than llama bean. It actually does. Crazy. <laughs> a piece, one singular piece of candy weighing more than the llamas. Let's see if it weighs more than fluff. Okay, I'm not going to answer that. I'm just kidding. Fluffy, you know we all love you, little fluff. We know you love food. All right, let's open this. 
This thing is a dense gummy. This is literally like how to get mom to buy you candy and she says you can only have one piece of candy. Go for this one, guys. This is technically one piece of candy. Right, Lana? Right. Fuck Bean says she's learned that trick from me. Like, she always asks, can I have one piece of candy? And she brings me the biggest piece of candy. And she's like, technically this is one piece. <laughs> Look at this. Oh. Oh, it's floppy. Look at the gummy. It's so floppy. It feels like, like a, like a, it feels like a piece of rubber. Flop mode activated. Mmm, the flavor. Sometimes I have to use a llama sensitive noses just to figure out what is going on. What is the llama? <gasps> yes! She said it smells exactly like red licorice. It does, like like the Twizzlers. It just uh, smells like a huge gigantic Twizzler. It's not a flap. Oh, flap bitch just ate a huge bite. Okay, flap, I'm gonna try it too. Come on, llama, let's try it together. Mmm. Oh, mmm, mmm. It's all right. You know, I was right. It does taste a lot like licorice. Like, it's just like licorice and a gummy bear. But I like it. Like, this is so funny. Oh my gosh, you know what? That's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of like a fidget. Like, it just feels like just you're holding like the, the fidgets. And it's just floppy and it's super satisfactory. Like, you wouldn't think this is a kid. Like, if I looked at this, I'd be like, Oh, that's just a little fidget. If I just set this up in my room, I'd forget that it's a piece of candy and just be a toy. But Fluff Bean would probably eat it within a day. Is that Fluff? Five minutes. Oh, Fluff. This is like almost as big as you, Fluffy. Look at that. Can you imagine that in Fluff's stomach? Look, it's as long as Fluff. I rate it mm, a 10 billion million out of a 10. How about you, Lava? Lava Bean says she loves it because like her and Fluff are going to make best friends with it. Until Fluff Bean eats it. All right, next one. Please be a good one. Whew, okay, another sour candy. I am actually really excited for this because I don't know about you guys, but like on Valentine's Day, like I said, I love to get the fun dip. What is your favorite Valentine's candy to get? Like on Valentine's Day, when we walk in class and you do the exchanges, I always look forward to fun dip. I'm like, please give me the blue fun dip or Oh, I totally forgot about this candy. I just want to go to the store and get it right now because I didn't, haven't had any. The candy hearts, you know, like the, the candy hearts. Oh, I love the candy hearts. They're so good. Okay, so this right here, this is a Warhead Fun Dip. This one is a black cherry sour powder. So llamas get ready because we're probably going to pass out after this one. Oh, llama. Don't pass out yet, llama. We have to try this. Oh, I'm really scared. I get really scared when it comes to these sour stuff. Whew. I want to know this. Do you prefer chocolate or do you prefer like the hard candies or like candies like this? Let me know. What's the llama? You prefer a vegetable. Healthiest llama to ever exist right here. Oh, that's cool guys. Look, so the stick actually is blue. So if you're a fun dip lover like me, you would know like the stick is usually white. The warheads is blue. That's, that's interesting. I'm going to try the stick right now. Oh, that is sour. Fluffy, try that. Woo! Extremely sour. Okay, so now for the dip. Okay, here we go. It's a red flavor, red on the blue. Hmm, that will wake you up. Oh, you know, llamas, if you ever want to get a lot of energy, try this llama bean. Oh, llama says she's sweating. I know, it's so sour. How is it, Fluff? You want to eat the rest? Oh, Fluffy. She must really like it. I would rate this a three out of 10. I'm really not a huge fan. I'd rather have the regular Fun Dip. The stick is pretty good. It's like a blue flavor. Warheads though, mm, they're all right. I don't know about this. Lama Bean, will you please go pick out another candy for me, okay? Can you get a chocolate one, Lama Bean? Oh, Lama, what you get? Oh, Lama! Lama Bean! Oh my gosh, guys, look what Lama Bean got this time. Fruits. Crazy Llama, where are you coming with these crazy foods? Llama, I mean, this is all reversing our whole candy rush. We can't, we can't right now, Llama. Bean. I know, I know, Llama. Guys, this is literally like fruit in a bottle. Like it's it's actual fruit. So this is what it looks like. It's just a fruit and a pill. Crazy little Llama. Okay, I'm gonna choose one. <gasps> yes! Oh, I'm so excited for this. This is candy that you can wear. These are gummy bands. I have never had this before, but I love 
Like, I, 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 I'm telling you guys, like, if you were to see me when I was five years old, I would always be wearing a candy necklace. And this right here is a candy band. I was, like, decked out in, like, all candy. I remember wearing ring pops all the time, and, like, this would just add to it. I wish they had these when I was growing up, because I would, I would wear these, like, every day. Looks like they come with different flavors, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lava Bean! Okay, Lava Bean, I'm gonna have you try one on right now, okay? Before we try it. How about you put one on, okay? Oh, it looks like it's gonna fit perfectly on Llama Bean. Oh, this is so cute. No, wait, this is perfect because you could prance everywhere and just, like, if you ever get hungry, Llama, you could just be like this. If you get hungry, you'll be like, oh, oh yeah, I'm wearing my candy band. Like, this is literally a hack. These candy, like, wearing candy is a hack because if you're ever hungry, you just, oh yeah. Okay, llamas, let's try this bracelet. It says sweet on the side. It feels very good. I have high hopes for this one. Mmm. 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 Extremely good gummy, guys. Really good gummy. Like, very good flavor. Like, do you ever eat a gummy and it's just, like, out of flavor and you're like, oh, that wasn't good? No, this one is super good. You're going to want to try the, the candy bracelets. Mmm. Fluff. Oh, Fluffy loves this candy. Fluffy, how are you doing on the sugar rush? Oh, Fluffy going crazy. Oh yeah, I love Rice Krispies. <gasps> and these look like they have sprinkles on it. Fluffy, you know what that means. Everything with sprinkles is automatically 10 million times better. If Fluffy doesn't get sprinkles on her ice cream, she doesn't want to eat it. Like it's, it's not a good day. But Fluffy, when anything has sprinkles on it, you know it makes it better. Okay, Lava, you go take one. These are so cute. These are like little samples. Like I've never seen a Rice Krispie so tiny, super tiny. Oh, that's so adorable. Oh, it looks so good. I already know this is probably gonna be a billion out of 10. Mmm, mm-hmm. It's so good, deliciousness. It's like one bite. After like three bites, but it's so tiny. I think probably like three of these tiny ones equal a regular one. Lamas, what do you think? Lamas said it's so much better than a regular one. It is, it's so festive and so cute. Super good, 10 out of 10. <gasps> yes! Guys, this is a really exciting one that when I saw in the store, it threw me off because like, oh, is that a little llama? So this is a box of chocolates that says drama llama, because it's like drama llama. You know it'd be cool if this box of chocolates had a llama shaped chocolate. Okay, so the flavors are, ooh, it comes with five ch different chocolates. It comes with caramel, strawberry, orange, cocoa, and chocolate caramel. <gasps> Look how cute. Dang it. Well, we dropped all the chocolates. We never give up. I have to give them though because full friend might eat it. Okay, let's show the heart shaped one, Llamas. It looks super delicious. <gasps> mm. I know it's not horrible, but Hershey's chocolate bar tastes better. Llama be trying. What do you think, Llama? Llama says she's a crease. Fluffy? Fluffy keeps licking it. Slow down, Fluff. Fluff loves it. Mm. That's pretty good, guys. I rate this one 10 out of 10 because I have the llama on it. Anything with llamas, perfect. <gasps> okay, so this one is Juice Fools. Juice Fruit Snacks Heart Throbs. What's that, Llama? That's right, Llama Bean. It's like the same thing as any of the fruits. Not really, but that's okay. Well, actually it says fruit is their first ingredient. Perfect. Oh, that's so cute of Welch's. I've never seen a Welch's fruit snack like this. Of course it's heart shaped. All right, let's try it. Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. That's why it's called juice fools because it's filled with juice. Lama bean, fluffy. It's super good. Like this is really good. This is a nine out of 10 fruit snack. Ta-da! We got a jelly pop. It's a very, very big lollipop and it feels like a gummy. I wonder what flavor this is gonna be. So this is probably cherry, probably grape, and then lemon, That's my guess. That looks so good. <gasps> wow, look how yummy this candy looks. All right, who wants to go in for the first bite? Flapping did not hesitate on that one. Flapping, what's the flavor? Rainbow. Well, it is super colorful. All right, um. I love it. I licked the whole thing at once. Oh, I was not expecting that. Mmm. 
Okay, at first I thought it was gonna be a bad taste, but I think it was just in my mind. I was like, mm, this this looks tasty, but it almost looks too good to be true. It actually tastes really extremely good, like a jelly. Look at the inside. You can just tell it's jelly filled. Like it's just extremely, has a lot of moisture and flavor, and it's just, just a good candy. 10 billion out of a million. Okay, next one. Ooh, this is an interesting one. Cupid's Love Potion. Look at this. That is very interesting. I've never had a candy like this. Like I've seen candies like this. I forget the name of them. Do you know the name of the candy that looks like this? Cause I, I have no idea. And I have like, do you eat? I have no idea how to eat these. Flat beans, since you are the expert on eating foods. I am really good at like sugars and stuff, but like not that sugar. Flat bean, will you tell us how do you eat this? Flat bean, I don't know if that's right. Flap, you can't, I think, I think you just twist it, and then does it explode? I think we just have to cut it like the, what's it up? I'm doing it the wrong way. Oh, okay, lava bean. Lava bean said we just have to bite the cap off. Okay. Hmm. Oh, look, it's just like a wax, a piece of wax. Always gotta do the sniff test, guys. Fluff. Oh my gosh, Fluffy has sugar all over her face. How does it smell, Fluff? She said extreme deliciousness. How about you, Lam? What is it, Lam? It's an imposter green food. Lama Bean knows her foods. I don't, I don't like it. Mm. It's just like a juice and it's like lime. You know, I just taste a lot of wax. Lamas, what do you think? They said it wasn't their favorite either. That's okay, Lamas, because there's a lot of other flavors, okay? We never give up. So I think we should definitely try these flavors in a little bit because we still have a lot more candy to go. This one, four out of 10 in my opinion. Masalam, negative 22,000. Lama, that's crazy. Lama said it was imposter. I see why. She thought it was, she just wants lettuce. Crazy Lama. <gasps> yes, okay, this one is the Tootsie Roll. Pops. Lamas get excited because I have a really good feeling about this one. Let's see what it comes with. I wonder like how is Valentine? Like what does the inside look like? Looks like it comes with just, oh they're all cherry flavored. The best flavor guys. Ooh, that looks so good. Just a good old cherry lollipop. You can't go wrong with this. Like, here's my question guys. I really want to know this. How many licks does it take to get to the center of this thing? Because I have no idea. Like, how many licks does it take Flappy? Like, literally just... <laughs> Flappy eats it in like three bites. Just like the commercial. <laughs> Lava. Mm. Yep, tastes just like a Tootsie Roll. Yep, this is 10 out of 10. Delicious. Guys, I'm really just sitting here and I just really want to know how many licks does it actually take? Like, do you think we should just sit here one day and just lick this until we actually get to the center? I, I have a feeling like I want to do that and I just really want to know. Just one of those things in life like you have no idea and you can't really Google it. If you guys really want to see us do that video, go to the comment section right now and leave three lollipop emojis. Let's see how many licks it does take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. All right, I don't know about you lovers, but I'm craving something that's super chocolatey. This is it right here. This will solve all of our chocolate cravings. Right here we have the Ferrero Collection. This looks extremely fancy. Like llamas, out of all the candies we got today, this is the one that looks extremely luxurious. I wonder how many flavors it comes with. It doesn't really have instructions on this, so I'm a little bit scared. Let's see, it says fine assorted confections. So it's extremely fine. <gasps> Yep, I get that. It's not wrong. Look at that. This is fancy. Let's see what these chocolates are like because like, whoa. <laughs> Sorry, Flop. Like, I haven't really ever had these chocolates before. I know I've seen these and I think I've had this like once in my life, the Ferrero. I don't know how to pronounce that. Like, this is like a Ferrari, I think, maybe. Let's just call it Ferraris. <laughs> So, never had the Ferraris before, but there's always a first for everything. I think I'm gonna try, actually no, 
I was gonna go for the white one until I saw the little flakes. And then I knew it was coconut flavored. So, Lava Bean, I'm gonna save the coconut flavored for you. Flat Bean, you try this. Actually, I maybe wanna try this one. No, Fluffy, you, you try this one. I think that might be coffee. I will try the golden nugget. All right. I wonder what this flavor is. Mm. It's good. It reminds me of like Nutella. Oh, oh, there's there's a lot of nuts in there. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's all right. I think I'm gonna give this one to Harrison. Harrison loves those chocolates. Oh yeah, I've been waiting for this one. I actually chose this box out because this is my favorite type of candy. Like, if you got that on Valentine's Day, what would you think? It's my birthday. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> so, I'm gonna rate this box of chocolates a negative three out of 10, but I'll give it five more points, which makes it two out of 10 because it does have really cute packaging and I think I'm gonna give my Valentine the rest of this. Here you go, Harrison. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Happy Valentine's. Guys, we still have a good few more and you're gonna wanna keep watching because this next one is absolutely crazy. Check it out. There's a lot of good flavors, guys. We got cherry berry, we got orange, grape, watermelon, and blue raspberry. I can't wait to try these because I've never seen an assortment of all these crazy cotton candy flavors. And I love cotton candy, so let's try it. Cotton candy just reminds me of the fair, which just gives me good vibes. Don't you just love going to the fair and just getting a huge thing of cotton candy? Ooh, I've never heard of this. Orange? Let's try orange first. Guys, let me know, is it orange or is it orange? I say orange. I have a huge feeling that when I open this up, it's just gonna smell like an orange growth. Okay, llamas, the first cotton candies. Actually, it doesn't really even smell like orange. It just smells like cotton candy. What do you think, Mama Bean? She agrees. It just smells like really good cotton candy. Hmm, let's try it though. That really puts it to the test. This looks super fluffy, especially for just a can of cotton candy. Like, I expect it to be stale, but this, like, look how fluffy this is. All right, here we go. Orange flavor. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm Yep, this is, this is extremely good. Actually, probably my favorite candy today. This is a gazillion. Flap, flam. Really good. I am not a huge fan of orange flavor. Like, when there's colors, flavors, I'm always choosing green and orange last. Blue, red, pink, gray, and then probably the, the orange and the green go last. That's really good. I wonder though, do all these cotton candies like taste the same? You know what, since we went for orange first, I'm gonna do the green next because I always choose green last, so let's just give green a good try. Yeah, we'll save the pink one for last. Okay, llama. Is it an imposter again, llama bean? Not me says she doesn't wanna try it. I mean, just give it a go. Oh, you love it, llama. See, this is why you always wanna try things because you don't know if you'll like it or not. Look at that. Just fluffy goodness right there. This cotton candy just feels like little fluff bean. It's so fluffy. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. The lab literally tastes a lot like watermelon. An actual watermelon. It's alright though. It's really good. I'm just not a huge fan of the watermelon flavor, but really good for a watermelon. Let's do grape. Never had grape cotton candy in my life. These are like really cute too. Like they're super tiny and like, I feel like you can just travel with these anywhere you wanna go. Doesn't smell, like every time I open up these, these cotton candies, they don't really smell like the flavor. But wait till you try it. Mm-hmm, that's really good. But the grape one, it just doesn't have like a super strong flavor like the watermelon did. Mm, that's good. That's a good one, 10 out of 10. Now for the blue raspberry. I wonder if it's gonna be sour. It's probably gonna taste like the blue raspberry one we had earlier. We have a lot of cotton candy llamas. I wonder how cotton candy's even made. Oh, it's just sugar spun up. Llamas, we should totally make some one day. Have you guys ever made cotton candy? Let me know. All right, here we go. 
I feel like blue is like one of the most popular cotton candies out there other than pink. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Flappy. This literally tastes like the cotton candy from the fair. Mmm. Love it. Really good. This is this is a huge hit, guys. And the last cotton candies. The pink one. It's llama pink. Pink for Valentine's Day. I just love pink. The llamas love pink. Let's see if the pink matches the llama's bow. <gasps> almost. It does almost. Look. That's so cool. That is so fun. Okay, llamas, let's try the pink stuff. Mmm. Mm hmm. This is my favorite. It's just so good. It's just the best cotton candy. The pink one, really good. My favorite candy of all today. This is so much fun, Lama. It's like, I'm getting a lot of candy. I'm starting to crash from my sugar rush. But you know how to recover from a sugar rush. We eat more sugars. Is it lamb? Oh yeah, we do have to drink water. Oh, I haven't drinking water in a while. So this one is called the Cuddly Cuties Yummy Chocolate Candy. Really adorable. Love the packaging. The bear just looks so cute. Like I don't want to eat it because it's so cute. Does that ever happen to you guys? Like you ever get a candy and then like you like it looks so cute or just looks so good and like nice to look at and you're like I don't want to eat this. Like this is how I feel about this cute little bear. Super cute Valentine's candy. It says bear hugs. Like, let's give you a hug. All right, Lamas, let's try this. I wonder what flavor it is. Probably vanilla. Hmm. Mmm. That's delicious. This bear was only like a dollar, too. And that's some really good chocolate for being a dollar. And it's really cute. So, like, if you need to find something to get your Valentine, like a cheap, cute little candy, this one's a good one. Lamas, try it. Oh, Lama! Lama says she loves it a lot. I know Lama, but it's super good. Mmm, I'm gonna be eating this later. All right, Lama, the sugar rice still isn't over. We have a couple more candies to go. Let's do it. So, this one is the Trolley Sour Bright Hearts. I have a feeling these literally taste like the gummy worms, except they're hearts. You guys know we love to go fishing with the gummies. Okay, this is cool because these ones they're like their own flavor. You know how like the gummy worms, they have like the blue and the pink together? Well, these are like separate. So, Namas. Mmm, really good. Tastes just like the worm. I love this candy because it's just, if you're to give this to someone, you're just giving them a bunch of love because it's just a bunch of hearts and it's super tasty. So, this is perfect for somebody who just loves gummy worms. Because it's literally gummy worms in the shape of a heart. Okay, this one is the Sour Punch Twist. And it's a cute little heart. I wonder how many you get. Oh, that's a decent amount. So I've never really had a Sour Punch before. Probably because I'm not a huge fan of sours, but it looks really good. Comes with a lot of ropes. Namas, here's some flavors. Let's try this. Cause we wanna get the ultimate sugar rush. The most sugar rush so we all pass out. Like that's the goal. It is the weekend on this. All right, let's try it. Oh, that is sour. I was not expecting that. Like, I don't know what made me think, but I was just thinking it was gonna be sweet when I bit into it. I don't know why I thought that. Oh, Namas. <laughs> I'm gonna like pass out. And this, this one, like a 2 out of 10. Not my favorite, but really cute. I do like the packaging. Extremely festive. Oh, llamas, we've eaten so much candy. But we still have two more left to go. So what is it gonna be, llamas? Oh yeah, the good old classic fun dip. Valentine's version. So in this box, it looks like we have, how many just, 22 fun dips. I'm probably gonna eat all this. Like, I probably could in like one sitting. That would not be good. Okay, but we're gonna try it just because it's Valentine's Day and I feel like it's not truly Valentine's Day until you've had a Valentine's fun dip. All right, Lamas, if you had to choose a flavor, 
Blue or the pink one? Ooh, blue llama bean. Llama bean said JK. She said pink. Oh, llama, llama bean and fluffy. And like, if there's ever a flavor where you're choosing and one of them's pink, they're always gonna choose pink because it matches their bows. Their bows are so cute. All right. We have to see, does it actually taste like the fun dips every year? Like we, we're just checking. Quality check. Yep, that's some fun dip. Lame. <gasps> Lame says so she can eat this all day. I could too, Lame Bean. How about you, Fluff? Was that that? <gasps> Fluffy says she loves it so much that she would use this fun dip dust to like sprinkle over every single one of her foods. That actually sounds really good. That's probably like a good idea. Like if you ever don't like a food, just take fun dip and just spread it all over the food to make it taste good. Mmm. This is so delicious. Like I've had so much sugar right now, but and I'm like almost like disgustingly full of sugar, but there's something about this fun dip that just makes me want to keep eating it. I, it's just so good. Mmm. <gasps> My tongue is already blue. Lama, show your tongues. Is it blue? That's the thing about Fun Dip, like your tongue always changes and then if somebody's like, were you just eating Fun Dip and then your tongue's blue? Mmm. All right, and the final candy of today. I'm super excited for this one because this is my favorite candy of like all time, guys. Like I'm telling you, when I saw this Valentine's Day edition, I had no idea that they even had something like this because like this is a candy that I basically eat all the time. And if you watch these videos, you would know that I love this candy. Here it is, and I can't wait to try it. Ring Pops, which is basically the same thing as Push Pops. Pretty sure the same company makes it, but it's just, this candy is so good. And what's that, Fluff? <gasps> You're right, Fluff Bean. We haven't made a candy weapon out of the Ring Pops yet. We should totally try that llama baby fluff bean. Put the ring emoji down in the comments below if you think we should try to make a weapon out of these. All right, llama baby fluff bean. I'm gonna tell you crazy little llamas this, okay? Because I haven't told you this before. Like, when I was a young little llama, like you little llamas, when I would get ring pops, I would just wear them all the time. And I'd put a bunch of them on my fingers and I'd just walk around and I'd feel really fancy. Like, that was my jewelry. Like, I didn't really care much about jewelry, but when it was ring pops, I was always, always into the ring pops. Like this is just one of those things where like, you just, if you get hungry, you just eat your ring. So this comes with two flavors, super festive Valentine's. You got strawberry and you got cherry craze. I wonder if Fluffy eats this and she's a crazy little llama and the flavors cherry craze will make her crazier. All right, let's try this. These ring pops are really cool because it's a tongue painter. It changes your tongue color. Oh yeah, that is nice. That is fancy. Oh, my finger is too big for it. Wait, is there like an age limit on this? Flappy, will you try this on? No, no Flappy, it's okay. It's okay, Fluff. We can pretend. Here, put it on your ear, Fluff. Or you can wear it on top of your head like a unicorn. <laughs> Fluff, that's so funny. Okay, there you go, Fluffy. Isn't it so funny? Fluffy's like a unicorn. All right, so let's try this ring pop. Does it taste the same as a normal ring pop? Because we have Valentine's version right here. I'm imagining it's gonna taste a lot better because it's Valentine's. All right, Lamas, let's all try it at the same time. Mmm. Mmm. Extremely delicious. I really wanna put this on right now. Here, Lama Bean. Mr. Lamb, you want to try it on like fluff? Of course, Lama Bean. <laughs> Lama! You look so cute, Lama. Oh, Lama Bean. Okay, let me see if... Oh, it'll probably fit my pinky. Yep. Look how cool that is, guys. I rate this ring pop an 8 times 40 million billion because it's so good. Extremely good. I love the ring pops. And it's just perfect, especially for Valentine's Day because it's like you get your crush a ring because they're just a bunch of rings and they're just super fun. 
Well guys, that wraps up this Sugar Rush video and I wanna do something special for those of you who are still watching this because we're gonna do a challenge to confuse everybody else who hasn't watched this. Go in the comment section right now and leave Happy Groundhog's Day. And that's gonna confuse everybody because they're gonna be like, huh? Wait a second, it's actually Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. But they're not gonna know because they didn't make it this far to the video. So let's confuse everybody down in the comments. Happy Groundhog's Day. And let's just do it for fun. We wanna know, what was your favorite candy? Or like, which of these candies was like, just by the looks of it and how the llamas tasted it, how I tasted it, which one was your favorite? My favorite was definitely the cotton candy. Lama Bean loved, would you love Lama? The Ring Pop. How about you, Fluff? The Big Gummy Bear. It was all super good llamas. Like, that was so much fun. We're probably gonna be up all night just bouncing off everything. It's gonna be a huge llama party. But thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Me, Little Lama Bean, and Fluff Bean. We love you so much. Say bye, Lana Bean. Bye. Say bye, Fluff. Bye. Bye. Happy Valentine's Day.